Hello and welcome to Blueberry One Show. I'm your host, Blueberry One. In the background, we got Stream Beats by Harris Heller. We're playing American Truck Sim. Demon Thrall, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the parking lot. Flip, flip, flip. I fucking hope not. Waiting for other people to show up, log in, get in the Discord. They were given a 20 minute warning. Still not here. That's okay, because we got some fire tracks to listen to while we wait. Guess what? At work again? Surprise, surprise, even throw a surprise, surprise. While you're doing that, let me find a gas station here. We'll turn to the music down a little bit here. You know what? I just realized. I'm dumb. I entered into ATS. I gotta enter into Trucker's MP. That doesn't change the fact that nobody's in the damn Discord. I think somebody just showed up though. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nope. But we should still hop into Trucker's MP. Cut that back a little bit. Excuse me. At least I got to go to my local hibachi grill and drink some beer. Nice. Hibachi and brews. Can't go wrong with that. Tonight's a brew night for me, too. Putting down the rye. Picking up the beer. And there's Andy showing up. Andy coming in on time every time. There we go. Let's see if this steering wheel is going to hold out through the night. I 
make sure the lights are on. Slippers on. Hey, Andy. Trying to figure out where the rest of the crew is tonight. Shouldn't the engine retarder have come on? How do I turn on the jake brake? Have you got an auto? Pardon? Have you got auto engine brake on? I think I do. Check your game settings. I'll have to. I'll pull into this fuel stop and check from there. That Jake breaks before. Oh, never mind. I got it. It only comes on if I hit the pedal. I uh, just drove up into Albuquerque proper to get fuel. Because I was just a little south of Albuquerque. No, I'm at the uh, fuel station rest stop in Albuquerque now. Right. It's seven. It's part of the best part of it. Here. There we go. Oh, NAS still be on in an hour. Okay. I wonder if Danny is in. Uh... Anyone wants to join to go to Idaho? Uh, okay, no. I thought Danny might be on clan battles. There we go, turn off the CB. Maybe you want haulage? Okay, let's uh, find a job, I guess. Well, that's not bad. We got a heavy haul going to Kennewick. Freight. Uh, that's an uh, external. Uh, let me check. Uh, I got one going. Oh, hold on. I'm not. I didn't select Albuquerque. Hold on. There we go. Thirty-nine thirty-nine. 
Okay, go back to cargo market. 39.35, so... I got Seattle and external. Hold on. Oh, right, because I can't do cargo market because I don't have a trailer, right? Right. Okay, so freight market. Uh, I got a boat going to Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. Uh, fragile cargo, high value cargo. So we got I got empty pallets going from Albuquerque to to come carry. What else we got? What else we got? I want an interesting load. I want something interesting. Mixed tanks. Well, if you want it interesting, what's your heavy load? Uh. I got a log loader. Oh, that's not from here. Hold on. Ah, I got this boat. I like this boat to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Heavy loads aren't very interesting, actually. A pile of scrapped cars. That's not even a heavy load, though. Externals. From Albuquerque. Uh, uh, All-terrain crane. I've hauled a couple of those now. I got one going to Kennewick. And I got another one going to Farmington. A tractor. Deliver a tractor from Albuquerque to Winnemucca. If it was going up the other way, I'd say maybe uh, Major was buying something new for the farm. Uh, backhoe loaders, meh. Oh, here we go. Mobile barrier from Albuquerque to Albuquerque. It's only $2,400, but it's a load I haven't done before. You have to. What? With the barrier, you have fun. That's such a stupid fucking load. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive this one around Albuquerque for five minutes. Fuck it. Oh god, I'm not gonna make any money off of this load. One of those loads that costs you more to get to it than you. There we go. Oh, what a silly load. I'm gonna try it though. I'll even try and park it where they want it. Unless it's articulated. If it's articulated, I ain't doing it. I still can't figure out how to back up those articulated trailers. I mean, to be fair, I can't figure out how to back up a regular trailer half the time.
So when are you dropping it off then? Uh, picking it up in Albuquerque, dropping it off in Albuquerque. What's the company? What's the uh, company? I think, I think, yeah, I think you have to drop off company. Oh jeez, I don't know. Hold on. Uh, destination Albuquerque, Albuquerque, yeah. Albuquerque Bitumen. Going to Albuquerque Bitumen. people who have played this game so much that they pick up a load and it's like yeah that's going to uh it's going to walmart in coma and they just like they know how to get there they don't have to gps the loads anymore in the game it's an interesting that is an interesting looking load okay all right After, after lots of hours of all of these games, and I still can't do without GPS, clicking for checks and maps. Okay, let's go. Are you blocking the entrance? Please tell me this guy's out of the collision zone. This guy is 100% blocking the road. Four minutes of game time. That's stupid. Though. I got into 18th gear just in time to downshift and pull into the lot. like high speed traffic uh, deflectors somebody hits it it absorbs the impact and deflects it away from the construction crews good thing Wheeler and Asti aren't here yet or they'd be trying to test the damn thing what do you mean trailer damage I didn't hit that guardrail, that guardrail hit me. Come on. A bit further. All right, now we gotta select how we're gonna, uh, we're gonna drop this.
Where do you need it? No, let's let's play it safe. We'll, we'll play it safe. I just gotta... As it is, I gotta try and get it in this... This fucking... Straighten it up. Delivered. Okay. Thirty-eight. Fifty-one. All right. <laughs> You want to do short haul trucking all night? I got another load from Albuquerque to Albuquerque. <laughs> uh, no, let's, uh, I got one to go into, uh, Washington. Kennewick. You got anything uh, going to Kennewick? See. Well, let's see once I've relocked in. Just like okay, Ooh. six by two mid lift. That's fine. I don't care about that. Luma Luma bad. Luma Luma bad. So much fucking chrome. I've got loads of cars to commit. Hmm? There's a load of cars to commit for me. Hmm. That's heading to, uh, uh, where did I say we were going? Kennewick? Kennewick, yeah. Nice. Okay, let me, uh, let me latch that job here. Altering crane. All right.
Okay. It's a heavy haul, so that'll be fun. curb like right there okay oh fuck hit the same damn curb see you. Ah! Oh, excuse me, I just gotta go grab my load. Oh, fuck. My boss is gonna come on and watch my stream and be like, You have symptoms, you can't come to work. Because I sneeze twice. No, no, I swear, it's just the allergies. At least let me work. Lights in this game suck. Barely tell they're on. I finally tried out the uh, the new headlights on my truck for like a, a good proper drive last night in the dark. Ooh. The low beams are like high beams. The high beams are like ultra high beams. Even the fog lights help. I went from uh, the standard halogens, or rather the standard halogen housings with LED retrofit bulbs and HID retrofit bulbs, and uh, put in uh, actual LED projector housings with, with built-in LEDs. Oh my god, what a difference. What a difference. We don't need no stinking stoplights. GTA 2 top down. Oh, there's the trailer. And there's the pin. Uh, I'm not at the highway yet, but I'll let you know when I'm on it. I 
Uh, let me see where I'm joining in. Hold on. Uh, it wants me... Oh, okay, so, uh... I'm west of the main interchange at the just uh, by 421 print. So that interchange is just north of 42 print. Uh, that's the interchange I'm going to be pulling on to. So the, the, the very first interchange west of the Albuquerque interchange on 40. I know. I've got you tracked. Oh. Are you spying on me? You have a tracker on me? You bugger, Andy. EPS my truck and I don't even work for him. Alright. Yeah, can I strike your seat? Well, I guess also I've got my strength, too. Everybody can find yeah, me easy. I can track all more steam friends. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm on there, and I think you're just behind me, aren't you? That's the logic. up the uh, shoulder there. My private light. Oh shit. <laughs> How'd that guardrail feel? Or, wait, say that wasn't you? No, that was you. You just hit that guardrail, right? I hit an invisible wall. Huh. Pretty sure not having instrument and dial lights is an OSHA violation. They're, the lights are there, they're just dim. set to dim. Having uh, bright ass lights in your face the entire time you're driving at night is also not good for you. These two guys. Oh fuck. Fuck Osha. If I get myself to a million bucks, I'll buy a second truck and start a driver. Word to your mother. What's up, Brandon? Welcome back to the parking lot, buddy. Cheers. Remember, kids, don't drink and drive. 
This is a video game and I'm sitting safely at home. Or at least sitting at home. Safely is debatable. Depends on what kind of mood machine was in. Control. Too bad cruise control doesn't do steering control. Get one of them Tesla trucks. Just be the, just be the guy that signs paperwork at each end, sleep on the way through. Next exit, turn right, Lava Stone Casino. Is that what that said? Is that an inflatable dome casino? That is an inflatable dome casino. Hell yeah. Those buildings are weird though. My dad had an inflatable dome uh, hockey rink. Wow. And it was, it was, I mean, first of all, it was cool that, you know, my dad owned a hockey rink. That was kind of cool. But, uh, Owned a hockey rink, owned a Zamboni, the whole nine yards. Anyways, um, the uh, the annoying thing about it was so like the change rooms were in uh, I think I think he had like a portable construction trailer or he had two portable construction trailers attached end to end. So the change rooms were in a portable construction trailer. And then there was like the office in there as well. And then you walked through like a covered walkway along rubber right on the right, laid right on the ground. And then you walked in through um, I think it was a double revolving door. I think it was a double revolving door, or maybe it was a single revolving door. And you walked in through the door, and then you walked into the ice. But because it's a pressurized dome, your ears always pop. Oh shit, I gotta turn here. And then, like, it, it changed the way that the hockey whistle sounded, too. It was a different experience. It was neat, but it was different. I just about rolled my fucking load over. Making that turn. I'm gonna stop here and wait for you to catch up. Did you have to go and repair, or... Uh... Because I've only said I'm on the 65 miles an hour, but I kept on hitting invisible walls. Mm. Don't forget on TMP, fix on the movies, forward slash fix. Yeah. One day you're gonna get on this game, there's gonna be a COVID event where 60% of the gas stations will be closed. Right?
Six percent of the gas stations are closed. Suck. Oh yeah, like half the gas stations in Canada and the United States shut down at the start of the pandemic last year. Power system open, right? Yours all stayed open? Yeah. Oh no. Tons of our shows. But I don't know if they closed because it was like, like they weren't required to close. I think a lot of them closed because they, there was less people on the road. So some of them closed to save costs uh, in like higher, higher saturation markets. And then some of the, some of the interstitial ones that actually should have stayed open closed because they're like mom and pop businesses and stuff. They're like, ah, we don't want to expose ourselves. They'll just close their shit down. But they might be the only the only fuel station for 100 kilometers, 100 miles, or whatever, right? And that, that pushes all the traffic to the the, the 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 two fuel stations on either side of that. Yeah, Demon Throw saying it's been great for his business. 170% normal sales all winter. He's now the only diesel station about 110 mile stretch at night. That was a big thing for me. I, I thought that every fuel station in small town Canada would have diesel. No, there's 100% towns in small town Canada where you got to go to the next major town to get diesel fuel. And when you're towing a trailer in a one ton diesel pickup truck driving across Canada the first time and you don't know that, that's a scary fucking proposition when you get to a fuel station. You're like. Yeah, no, we don't carry diesel. You gotta drive another two hours, you're looking at that quarter tank on the fucking gauge being like, well, looks like we might be running her on kerosene, boys. Uh, I mean, I probably should have carried jerry cans, but I didn't. We made it, but there was about two or three times there where it was like skin of our teeth. We, we pulled into a fuel station. We're like, whew, another kilometer or two, we would have been priming the pump. Well, there you are. You're behind me again. Yeah. yeah we were driving like you do on this game. On vapor. up the hill. This is not the spot for me to try and accelerate. Technically, you should carry some kerosene with you just in case you hit a fuel station that slumps on costs in the winter. Spells untreated diesel in the cold. Not an issue in Canada, man. Not an issue in uh, Ontario through the Prairie Provinces. The only fuel you can get in those areas, uh, I think, is a fuel station. Regardless of costs, is uh, number one in the winter. Now, if I was further up north, where it's like minus 50, minus 60, sometimes I'd carry some kerosene. But I mean, I drive a gas truck now, but. It gets cold enough for long enough in, uh, and often enough in the winter in Canada that fuel stations have learned their lesson. You can't skimp on that shit. An angry trucker will be knocking down your fucking door.
Welcome to Color from Colorado. Damn, that sucks. We had a delivery company that would try to sneak untreated into our tanks. We'd know as quick as our lines would gunk up. After about four times a couple years ago, we dumped them, warned our competitors about them. That's just fucking shady shit there. That's shady ass business. for a vehicle inspection. I don't think so. Who do you think I am, Wolby? It's a lot of extra profits if your customers don't know this. Yeah, it's also fucking fraud. It should be treated as such. I'm paying for a product, I'm paying for a product. If you give me the wrong product and you're doing it intentionally, it's fucking fraud. None of this white collar prison minimum security bullshit for these fraudsters either. Gen pop medium security. Stop calling it fraud versus theft. Fraud is theft. It's theft through deception. What'd you do? Oh, you're a thief? Okay. Yeah, welcome to the United Snakes. Coming down in a minute, do you want any snacks? No, I'm good for now, I just need another drink. Thanks, babe. Look at Danny, are we meeting in Albuquerque still at 7.41? An hour and 20 minutes later, still playing Escape from Tarkov. I agree. Put them all maximum security. Fuck them. Theft over 5,000, fraud over 5,000, grand theft auto, grand larceny, all those types of charges, but depending on your jurisdiction. Treat them the same. Think about it, you take $5,000 from somebody, you could be taking their life from them. I'll tell you, I can't afford, I can't afford for $5,000 to go missing tomorrow. $5,000 to a lot of people is a life-changing amount of money. Taken away at kids' college.
Grand Theft Auto is sometimes where a desperate person commits the crime should be given a chance for rehabilitation. The guy who made out like a bandit um, helping crash the stock market, that guy should... Oh yeah, like, okay. Obviously, there's... But here's the other thing too is, you gotta look at who might deserve jail for putting people in those desperate situations. Maybe we should start considering jailing politicians when a politician crashes an economy. What about when a politician says some dumb shit and uh, foreign investors lose confidence in the local market and kill the economy? Right? What about when you have some dumbass CEO who says some dumb shit on Twitter and the next thing you know the company's stocks are in the fucking shitter because somebody couldn't keep their mouth shut? Like, there's, there's so many different things that need regulation. We're all pawns in a giant game of chess played by the, the, the select few who get to make the decisions for everybody because they had the money to run for the position. Because when you have money, you can continue to, when you have wealth, you can continue to amass wealth. If you don't have wealth, it's a much harder grind to get the wealth to make the wealth. If I had $50,000 right now, I could invest $50,000 into electricity and gaming computers and GPUs and, and stuff like that. And I can make back that money in less than a year mining crypto coin. Or I can invest that money in the stock market or I could buy a house, whatever, and in five years I could have a minimum return on that investment worth something. A lot of safe ways to take 50 grand and make it into 75. You have five fucking dollars to your name. That's expendable income. You can do the exact same thing. You can take five dollars and I can make it five dollars and five cents tomorrow. But do you know how much longer it takes to make that five dollars and five cents into five million dollars than it does to take fifty thousand dollars and turn it into five million dollars? That's that's the difference between having wealth and making wealth. Initial capital investment is the difference between five years and fifty. But it doesn't have to be that way. A lot of the systems that are currently in place encourage the, the circle of, I, I, I'll, I'll call it the circle of poverty because that's the term that we're familiar with, but it's not necessarily the circle of poverty. We could consider it the, the circle of mediocrity. There are systems in place that are designed to ensure that you stay in your class system unless you luck out, know the right person, or work so fucking hard that your work-life balance is trashed. And a lot of those systems are archaic, necessary, and defunct in a modern society. I mentioned the fact that a lot of the reasons that those systems exist are defunct. We don't have the burgeoning labor industry that we had in the early 1900s when we needed 80, 80 to 90 percent of the population working farms and factories just to make things. We don't we don't have that anymore. We don't have a post World War One and post World War Two economy anymore 
where we have everybody coming back from a, a combat zone with five to six years of income that they haven't been able to spend because they've been overseas looking for a place to blow that money on cheap housing and keeping up with the Joneses next door because they could. We're not in that market anymore. We're in a tech market. We're in an educated market. We're in a entertainment market. We're in a market that doesn't value labor. It values efficiency and it values leisure. And we need to recognize that and push for change to, towards rewarding people for that in some way, shape, or form. Existential economic discussions with Blue. We could have a tech boom industry in Canada and the US, but that would require accepting that some of the old industries are outdated and need replacing. Yeah. It also requires accepting that capitalism in its current incarnation in the United States is dead. It requires accepting the fact that we have to move towards a techno capitalist uh, environment in which we have a socialist undertone that supports people regardless of what they do so that they can get the education they need to survive in a techno-capitalist environment. Try getting a 65-year-old president to fucking understand that. Try getting a drama teacher to understand that. Try getting somebody that's been spoon-fed by his company's fucking butler for the last 20 years of his life and is now the the, the premier of a province that wants an oil pipeline to understand that. It doesn't fucking happen. It's not going to change overnight, but it's going to change, and it's going to change one of two ways. It's going to change suddenly when people elect a government and people understand that the change was necessary, or it's going to change violently when people get fed up with shitty leaders trying to push a system that's 150 years old on us. No, Fluffy Butts, I am drinking and playing video games. The video game is driving. Fluffy Butts, get your butt in here. Hop in stream room. Hop in stream waiting room one. We'll get you in here. Work retraining programs, future tech incentives, and elimination of old industry bailouts. Yeah. Not to mention, stop privatizing um, public systems. There's a reason that uh, systems like sanitation and healthcare and education, etc., etc., are publicized in a lot of countries. Jesus fuck, Fluffy, you'll fit right in with Wheeler. I'll be getting it set up. Where do I go to drive with people? I feel like a virgin. Wheeler, sorry I couldn't be in tonight, brother. Wheeler coming in with another subscription. Stop it for two months. No worries, buddy. I know you, you fucked up your computer. I thought you got it fixed, but that's all right. Wheeler, you can do me a huge solid though, brother. Can you walk Fluffy through getting on the uh, Trucker's MP? Can you walk Fluffy through it? Can you, can you take his hand? Can you take his hand in your big Kubasa? walk him through the trucker's MP. Usually I'd get Andy to help him out, but Andy's in game right now. Fluffy coming in with a subscription for one, or I guess the, the first subscription for one month. Thank you, Fluffy. Thank you for that sub, buddy. Welcome to the parking lot. Thank you for painting for the new paint. Thank you for... Thank you for paying for the new paint lines on the on the parking lot there, bud. We'll make sure we set up a stall just for you. We'll even be a little sign in the front. Pull up. This is Fluffy Butt Spot. 
Oh my god, I should have... You know what, that could be part of the, the break screen or the credits screen. Is an overlay of a parking lot with all my subs with named parking spots. This spot reserved for... I love it. Babe, I need you to draw me a parking lot. Probably just, I can probably just grab, you know what, maybe I can just like zoom in on a nice parking lot in Google Earth. Grab, grab the overlay. And then just like write the names in. Even drop people's Twitch, Twitch profile icons on them. Yeah. It's only gonna work for so many people. Once we get over a certain number of people, that parking lot's gonna be pretty fucking big. Yeah, it's the it, it's it's interesting. Like, there's a lot of different economical systems you can look at, right? And to say that any existing system is the best or any existing system is the worst is difficult because something that a lot of people forget and have trouble dissociating is like, oh, socialism's bad. Okay, give me an example of why socialism is bad, and they'll be like, China. It's like, okay. So how about we take the uh, the communist? How about we take out the? I mean, they're communists, not socialists, but anyways. Um, if we take the government out of the issue, well, that's exactly my point there. Demon Thrall is a hodgepodge system is best. I like to call the I like to call it a uh, a socio capitalist techno tech socio capitalist. Techno entertainment economic system is the best. Where you you reward people for technological and entertainment setups. Um, and I don't mean like you don't reward people. Like obviously you still need to reward people for farming. You still need to like that stuff's all there. But like if if somebody chooses to stay home and be a content creator. Well, maybe until that, maybe we don't tax content creation until it hits a certain threshold, right? Now, I'm not saying that somebody that quits their job to, to do YouTube should be getting government bailouts. Um, but for instance, I'm supposed to pay tax on all my Twitch earnings, and I'm supposed to lump it in with my... Um, my full-time job earnings. Why? Why? Uh, get a loop going from left to right of spots with reserve signs, and that way you can play the loop as a starting, sooner, ending stream. Nice. I like it, Wheeler. Uh, Demon throw that. That's a that that part's a sticky subject, and that that one's. I'm not gonna touch that with a ten-foot fucking pole on stream. Um, there are aspects that I would say yes, and there are aspects that I would say no. Um, like, OnlyFans is legitimate work. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with it, but it's legitimate. It is a consenting person taking pictures of their consenting self and selling it to consenting people. That is fine, whatever. I don't, I don't care what you want to do. Um, but there are blurred lines and areas on it, and that's that's a reality. I think there are industries that need. To, there, there's the problem is is we don't have a heavy labor market anymore. We just don't. We don't have. 
hundreds of thousands of factory jobs for 18 year olds to hop into that just don't exist. 18 year olds work in fast food and retail. Fast food and retail gets treated like shit. Fast food and retail doesn't provide benefits. Fast food and retail doesn't do this. And there's no vertical movement in any of those industries. So you have to you have to be lucky enough to move up vertically. Or you have to leave and go somewhere else. Well where do you go? Where do you when 90% of the market currently is food service and retail, where do you go? Where do you go? Well, that's just it. Adults are, and, and that's what I mean. Adults are working it. Some adults go back into it because there's not enough jobs to go around. Some adults have been in it since they were fucking 18. There's not enough jobs to go around, and we're not... What was... Sorry, I've, I've been drinking, so I, my, my full economic thought process isn't there. One of the things that I've loved, 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 loved uh, being a proponent of is instead of... Instead of giving people money back, instead of giving companies tax breaks, all that stuff. Oh, great. Companies love it when the government gives them a tax break. Hey, if I put solar panels on the roof, can I take that out of my earnings and then you'll give me a break on my taxes because I earned less than a quarter million dollars this year on my company? Um, and I'll also get that $100,000 credit for going green. I will? Okay, cool, 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 cool. So you guys owe me $35,000. Well, first of all, no, those should be credits. So if you go green, instead of giving them a rebate on their taxes, so you end up owing the money, just don't charge the taxes that year because you shouldn't be handing that money out to the fucking company. But instead of giving companies tax breaks or hiring a thousand people, what if you gave them tax breaks for paying wages over a certain amount? The person you pay $35,000? Each of their wages counts as thirty-five thousand dollars on your tax on your on your 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 uh, your expenditures. For every dollar you spend over thirty-five thousand dollars, up to seventy-five thousand dollars on a person's salary, you get to build that on your expenditures for your for tax purposes at a dollar twenty-five. Everything over seventy-five thousand, you get to build it at a dollar fifty. So you pay less tax by reducing your taxable income by paying more salaries. So the bigger you pay your employees, the more exponential growth there is in your expenditures above the real dollar value, which means it makes sense to pay that person $60,000 because you get to count it as a tax expense of $90,000. That, that's fucking brilliant. So now they're gonna pay the people that are making that now, now retail businesses like Walmart are gonna pay their people a living wage, which means they're gonna spend money. When they spend money, Walmart makes back the money they're spending in those wages. And the cycle continues. But when you pay people as little as you possibly can and you take as much as you possibly can from the government, all that really happens is, is all that fucking money goes back into that company and who ends up with the money? Fucking Bezos. And how the fuck does Bezos having a billion dollars more every day help the economy? It doesn't. It doesn't help the economy. It doesn't help people. It helps nobody. You know what it helps? It helps Bezos build another fucking boat. Nobody cares about Bezos' boat. And that's exactly it. A grocery store worker, if they got paid more, would statistically spend more at the store that they're being paid at. At the company that I work for, the amount of money spent by the people that work for the hey Texas Toast, thank you for the follow. I did see that. Sorry, I was in a I was in it so get that point out. Texas Toast, welcome to the parking lot. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream, buddy. I'm assuming you're from Texas or you really like Texas toast. Either way, I also enjoy Texas toast. Now I want thick bread. But like Texas toast thick, not like... You know that pumpernickel thick? You know what I'm saying? Like pumpernickel thick? You're a guy that loves Texas toast? Fuck yeah. You know what the best thing is? Texas toast French bread. 
or even better, Texas toast, French bread, omelet sandwich. French, not French bread, French toast. Texas toast, French toast, omelet sandwich. French toast, there we go. There's too much toast in that word. And then toast it again. Girls to girl lines. Both things slap. Um, the people that work at my company spend a shit ton of the money at my company. I would be happy with losing employee discounts in favor of better wages. Because $30,000 extra a year in my paycheck would more than make up for the money I save on any discounts I would ever get. And I could spend that money elsewhere to better my life. And a better employee and a happier employee and a well-paid employee is a loyal employee and a productive employee. So how are you? I am I am excellent. I am I am talking politics. I can't say what Mashiva is doing behind me because I can't see her. I can see what she's doing. Maybe nope, I don't have that set up. <laughs> Somebody allow that for me, please. Are you able to do that, babe? It's okay, Texas So, so we'll get it allowed for you. Hold on, I fuck. Hold on, hold on. Oh god, terrifying. Oh god. Oh god, I'm on the other side of the road. And I crashed. <laughs> uh, can I get out of this? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Did you see the crash? Uh, yeah, I I set the auto mod up earlier on in my streaming career, and I really need to get rid of it. I'll sleep in the wheel. No, I I fucking all that. One of my mods is an adder computer. The other mods in the damn game with me. My other mods on another game. I need more mods. I'm all out of mods. Wheel or more mods, you say? Texas Toast, I'll help you. Thank you for the offer, Texas Toast. I'm a small channel. I, how many mods does a small channel need? Fuck me. I'm having issues with Trucker MP. Everybody has issues with Trucker MP at first. Luffy, don't worry about it. We do this every Saturday night. Saturday night. Na, 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 na. I really wish I could I could remember all the words to that song. I get the MC8 though. Okay, hold on, let me. Let me do this, hold on. Are you in a station for your CB? Nah, no. We're, uh... We're just in Discord. Andy's here, he's just a very quiet player. Just attempt to crash from the top. Did you crash again? No, but each time I, I look down to the press mode, Crash to talk. I, I tend to crash, don't I? Oh. 
Demon Thrall. I feel about five pounds lighter now. That's... That's apropos for, for this... Apropos for this channel. Recommend you go to the station. I just have my... I just have my, my uh, CB off. I, I don't turn the CB on. I don't turn my CB on. People, uh, people say and do dumb shit on CB, and I don't want to stream it. I'll keep on on ten. In Station 19, there's a hell ton of nice guys. Yeah. I'm sure there are, but there's also, you know, there's also not necessarily nice guys, too. Where's my honey badger? Honey badger's coming. He's coming. He said he was going to be here in about an hour. I can't remember uh, how long ago that was. I can double check here. That was over an hour ago. I messaged him again. Also, Wheeler, take a look. You have responsibilities now, Wheeler. You have sponsorabilities. It means you're not allowed to have fun anymore. a Rugrats quote. Why is it that all the people on the fluffy butts here? He's going woo. He says woo. So he's either pretending to be a police car or he got it working. Your poor Fluffy Butts character on the ATS is still level one? Oh, fuck yeah. Eb. Oh, uh, Setiem Ciel. I don't know. Oh, Setiem Ciel. Ciel. C I E L. Kel? Kel? Shell? Septiam is seven, right? Who's telling the I switched views as you were telling me what I can't do. You can't have fun. You can't have fun. Seven Scott? It's a weird name. Oh, it's a, uh, it was a gamer tag I saw. Fluffy Butts, Fluffy Butts character is level one. Main is 27, 200 plus hours at ATS. Okay. Doesn't branding suck, Fluffy? The worst part about being a streamer is when you, like when you first start being a streamer, you have to start branding everything. So like, you have like a dozen fucking usernames. Wheeler says, so we got married then is what you're saying. He's not allowed to have fun anymore because I made him a mod. It does, but I hope that it pays off. I, you know what? For me, I had Bites, Rule, Blueberry, and something else. I can't remember what the other one was. I had three different usernames, and I have since rebranded them all into Blueberry1. Um, 
And you know what? I'm actually happier for it because I, I, it's easier to just be like, this is, this is all the same person. Um, but you know, I know some streamers that haven't, still haven't done that. I find it frustrating as fuck when they're like, have like four different names and you're playing a game with them and their, their discord name and their stream name and their in-game name are three different names and you're like, you fucking brand? Like a damn brand. We are AWS gamers. Okay. That's nice. I am gonna pass you gamers. You know, usually we'd have a bigger convoy than them. I have a feeling that, uh, Lothy the Badger may have, uh, smoked a bowl and passed out. He's online in Discord now, though. Lothy the Badger was a jolly, happy soul. Uh, you'll have to try another day. It will not let me register, and I'm getting frustrated with it. Don't get frustrated, man. Don't get mad, get glad. If I don't get mad, get glad, I mean grab a glad garbage bag, throw your shit in it, throw it out the back door, and just, you know. Yeah, man, if you want to just drive around in your single player and just hop into the Discord and chat it up. Absolutely, and then we can uh, we can talk you through it, and we can get you in here uh, for next Saturday, bud. Remember, guys, we've added another... We have added another thing to the stream. Uh, we're not where we're at. We're still six days a week doing uh, No runners on hiatus until I can get the steering wheel fixed in it. So tomorrow night's gonna be Valheim probably uh, It seems to work better in ATS though, so I don't know what that's all about I'm terrified because I've said something now Uh, but anyways, um, so we, we stream six nights a week, uh, we don't stream on Thursday nights, we do Satisfactory Mondays and Tuesdays, we do driving, we, we were doing driving sims, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with convoys and ATS on Saturdays, uh, Wednesdays is VR nights. Um, now one Saturday a month is satisfactory with Runestone Gaming and Wookie Legend. It's something we're gonna try. I got uh, three hours in with Wookie today, and uh, in April, early in April, we're gonna get a, a Runestone in with us. Slowly easing our way back into the co-op, guys. Using our way back into co-op with a couple of the OG crew, ATS stuff only, and then uh, the one collab with other content creators. Hey, Slothy. Hey, <laughs> as soon as he gets in, going to smoke. Welcome back, Texas. Welcome back.
liking having the music injected. Uh, music on the stream is courtesy of Harris Heller's Stream Beats, by the way. I'll be shouting that out until I go blue in the face. Harris Heller creating music for streamers with uh, no copyright protections. Harris Heller also streams on Twitch. I'll be getting a shout out command just for Harris Heller on the uh, stream deck at some point. So I can peg a, a bot command for that. Can somebody drive fluffy butts in, nasty? Last time I alt tabbed, I slapped my truck into a wall. Also, somebody remind me we gotta make Wheeler a uh, mod in the Discord now, too. Oh fuck, nasty smoking. Fluffy, we'll get you in, I'll see you there. When Nasty gets back from his smoke, his, his uh, smoking a pancake, bong and a blitch. Puffing a pancake. Babe, do you got the reference? Do you? Nice. There's two kinds of people in the world that I don't like. People who don't like people because of their place of origin, and the Dutch. No worries, I got in the truckers MP working on getting it set up now. Nice. It can be a bit of a bitch. It really can be. Like anything else that's a mod and not like baked in gameplay functionality. Which, oh shit, I can't see. Fuck. Oh god, I bumped my steering, my keyboard. Fuck, there we go. True facts. Dutch live in windmills and wear wooden shoes. Do you want a link for Harris Heller's Twitch and chat? Yes, please. Can you drop? Uh, just do, uh, just do shout out and then his Twitch name. Uh, exclamation S O and then Harris Heller's Twitch name, which I think is just Harris Heller, but. Also, Harris Heller raided uh, a cog member the other day. You hear about that, babe? Harris Heller raided Jaguarius. Oh yeah. He had like a hundred thousand then uptake in chat. I'll be honest, if I wasn't a streamer, I'd have no idea who the fuck that was. I still don't really know who the fuck they are. I just know that he makes beats for streams. He calls them stream beats. Because he was like, yo, fuck big record labels. I just use pretzel. Oh, is pretzel another one? It's a dollar five a month, or it's fifteen dollars a month. Yeah, I'll use Harris Heller. I already paid for fucking Spotify. Hey, Demon Thrall later, man. Drive safe. Take her easy, and if she's that easy, take her twice. Oh, my drive so works for free. What's for free? Oh, pretzel. Was pretzel for free? 
Why I want this? I hate pretzel rocks because it posts links. Okay. I think I can get pretzel through Spotify though. Pretty sure. Are you back yet? Can you drag a uh, fluffy button here? Or if Bert's around lurking. Sleep, I'm gonna sit straight up in bed. Fucking belch. Hey, thanks, Nasty. Hey, Fluffy Butt. How's it going? Excuse me, good, good. It also took me forever to realize that Fluffy Butts was a rabbit thing. Yeah, I made it a rabbit thing. <laughs> Wait, so it wasn't a rabbit thing? No, it actually came from my children, uh, because I'm a fatty. Because you're a fatty? I thought you were going to say because you have a hairy ass. I was going to be like, wait, why are your kids calling you Fluffy Butt for having a hairy ass? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be great. <laughs> we, got some exist we got some discussions to have, Fluffy Butt. Stop mooning your kids. But also, Wookie has competition. Oh man, that's great. I'm trying to get my stream set up as well. Having some issues with my camera. I do like calling myself Fluffy. Wait, where are we going? Winnemucca? Kennewick. We're on our way to Kennewick. I am, uh, I've got Trucker MPs downloading now, so as soon as that is done, I'll be on my way. Three minutes. Where Kennewick? Yeah. Or about fifty kilometers a minute. Well, I've got about two hours game time, which is about two three minutes. Yeah, I guess I never really paid attention to figure out what the uh, game time to real time ratio is. I, sh I, I will. I'll, I will take a number three, please. Is it 20 to 1 wheeler? You're running out of fuel. I'm fucking fine. Thanks. Oh, she even opened it for me. It's mid. Like a good 
good little bartender. You get hit in the back of the head now. Oh, violence on stream, TOS. Slosh you the better. Wheeler Games, how dare you pick Valheim over ATS? He is waiting for you to talk nasty. I like it when he yells. How dare you! Insert Greta meme. Alright, after I drop this load, I'm gonna have to stand up and stretch. I feel like I've been driving a truck in 2,000 kilometers. Get out, smack the tires. Stretch, crack my back. Run into the rest stop, take a shit. Grab a rest stop burrito. Take four more shits. Get back in the truck. Stop at the next gas station. Take six more shits. And then eat the burrito and take 23 more shits. Slouchy, picking the long haul is the only way to go. If you're gonna play ATS, you might as well drive for 30 minutes of a ride and give some real money. Well, that's just it, right? I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to my first mill. My first million in the bank, I should say. Nice. Yeah, my strategy is max long haul first and then I max the other stuff later, like fuel and the other important things. Yeah, you're gonna have to because otherwise you're gonna be taking three loads for every one of ours. The play gets one million compared to my hundred seventy million. Oh shit, we're finally getting off the highway. stop around here somewhere like come on does the game factor fuel consumption for load like does it factor that you'll use more fuel on a heavy with a heavier load yep my understanding is it's pretty accurate um, as far as all that goes yeah. Half year load of the hunger is more fuel than standard load. So, my, I'm loaded right now and it says my distance for the amount of fuel I have is 211 kilometers. Oh shit, I was supposed to turn off there. My bad. Um, when I go to Bobtail, will my distance for that amount of fuel increase? Once the computer's calculated it, yeah. Do you drive in kilometers per hour just so you can feel like you're going faster? No, because I'm Canadian. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm fucking Canadian. The miles don't make sense. 
understand. Why is that everything? <laughs> Why am I still going so fucking slow? <laughs> that totally makes sense now. I get it. Yeah, I I'm, from Al I'm, I'm in Alberta. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That is there down there, Canuckia. I just wish it would let me change this into Canadian dollars so I could feel rich. Let me ask you this question, and I ask every Canadian this question because I think it's. Yes, I have a pet what? beaver. Yes, I live in an igloo, and yes, my girlfriend is an Eskimo. When you watch shows like uh, <laughs> Trailer Park Boys and Letter Kenny, are you offended by? Fuck no, you Trailer. Figuring? No, first, okay, first of all, Letter Kenny and Trailer Park Boys are shows about Canadians made by Canadians in Canada. So I can't be offended because it's us making fun of ourselves. But also, the sad reality is, is aside from the gunplay in Trailer Park Boys, Trailer Park Boys and Let Letterkenny get both Canadian trailer parks and small town Canada pretty fucking right. That's, so, that's like that's almost the same answer I get every time. Some people are like, eh, but but for the most part, I get that answer, which I think is great. So, and, and the people that you'll get the wrong, they get a different, they'll be like, oh, that's not us. Like, yeah, where do you live? Vancouver, Montreal, or Toronto? Fuck off, get out of here. You're not a small town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have friends from the UP of Michigan, um, family from the UP of Michigan, uh, and they might as well be Canadian, so. Like, I'm from Toronto region originally, but I've spent most of my life in smaller towns bordering on cities. Um, so I have a healthy, like, I have a healthy, um, exposure to city and urban living in Canada. But I can look at those shows and definitely be like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. Now, there are some inaccuracies, or, or there's, there's artistic license that's been taken, for sure. Again, like the gunplay in Trailer Park Boys, like, let's be honest, there's not that much gunplay in Canada. And it's not with handguns, it's with rifles when it does happen. Yeah, I'll, I, I can drive to the back of the lock of that. <laughs> what the fuck, Sloshy? God damn it, Badger. Uh, Wheeler Games ever lets your white fingers your buttholes? Feels pretty good. <laughs> ah, that's straight out of fucking Ladder Kenny. I love it. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't kiss and tell, but uh, kiss and tell. <laughs> feels uh, feels pretty good, sir. Immediately start playing catch with each other instead of him. Where are you guys? Uh, Kennewick. Kennewick, is that Idaho or Washington? Okay, I am where this trailer is supposed to be. Oh my god, I hate when the trailer's not, like, perfectly fucking straight. I'm down to catch if you're throwing badger, Jesus Christ. You guys behave for one night on my stream? One night, one fucking night, that's all I ask. Did you say Kenwick? Kenwick. That's way up there. I'm not gonna be able to straighten this fucking trailer out, I don't think. Do I go into simulation or US simulation? US simulation. The one with the big number. The one with like 800, 900 people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, my closest garage is. I think I fucked up this load already. I tried to deliver it. Behave, I was just asking for a nice clean game of catch. You shut the fuck up, Wheeler. We all know what you was asking for. Oh, 
threatened me with a good time, Wheeler. Did I say that to him? What was it about? Oh, it was on Time Tell's channel. I was on Time Tell's channel, and uh, somebody said that he needs to get a, uh, a rolled up newspaper to control his viewers. And I turned around and I was like, don't threaten me with a good time. I was like, Blue Burby. Well then, I was like, okay, nope. Nope. <laughs> we are not getting into newspaper BDSM today. <laughs> I will have so many jealous wheelers and badgers. There was not a chance in hell I was going to park that backwards. I don't know how you, how you park those articulated trailers backwards. Could, have any you of tell. you have any of you successfully reversed those articulated trailers? A couple of times. You're not supposed to reverse them. That's not what. No. <laughs> Wheeler, yes. Andy, a couple times. Fluffy. Why, why, why would you do that? <laughs> Unhook. Go to the other end and pull it fucking straight. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no, no, no. Like, 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 pull that fucker straight. In real, I feel like reversing a trailer in real life is actually easier than reversing a trailer in the game, though. So, I'm in Olympia, just northwest of you. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, I got another thing. There we go. We got number five on the long distance. Where are you guys at? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Ke Keswick. No, not Keswick. Kenwick. Probably dressed the same, though. Yeah, because I, I, I can reverse it. I can reverse a single trailer easy in real life. In like Seattle or Wenatchee or whatever the hell that's called. Huh? Oh, you're. Oh, I see. You're up by Olympia. All right, we can and take a there. we can take a short haul up to Seattle. Meet up there. There's got to be a job to Seattle from here, right? Fuck yeah, I got a, I got a heavy haul scraper going to Seattle for twenty thousand bucks. I'd rather go to Burlington, Colorado for 115 k but for you, Nasty, I'll go to Seattle. There's no question you're coming here anyways. Let me just see if I got something else going. No. I gotta do an external. Okay. I'm in Boise, so I'll start heading towards Seattle, and if you guys start coming down that direction, I'll meet you. Wait, maybe I don't have a job to Seattle? Maybe I forgot to click on the thing. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, I can take this silica up there. Let me refresh. Yeah, I got silica going there. Let me check the freight market again. Yeah, I got shit in the freight market. I'll need to sleep. All right, I'm taking this shit-ass load of fucking silica, I guess. Now where'd that go? Oh, you fuck off, eh? Maybe I'll just go sleep. <laughs> My Seattle job just disappeared. Why is it that Provo is is a name that we say every fucking stream? Provo. Well, if you're anywhere near Utah, you're gonna go to Provo. Is Provo the only city in Utah? No, not really. No. Like, there's Salt Lake City. I feel like Salt Lake City is the place to be in Utah. 
Provo and Salt Lake City are basically on top of each other. Yeah, I, I feel like if you're in Utah, you're going to Salt Lake or you're going to Moab. Like as a, uh, as a tourist, like I feel like that that's that's the two big ones, right? You're going to Salt Lake or you're going to Moab. Well, Salt Lake is is a big deal, but um, what's the what's the ski town right there next to it? That's the one that everybody goes to, really, when you go there. Oh, okay. But I feel like Moab's where the where the dune buggies go, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Moab's that's where the, all the, the dirt racers are going. Yeah, that's where all the fun stuff is, the arches and all that stuff. Yeah, I actually, I'd, my I'd wife, go to Moab. Like City, so. I'd go to Moab, fuck yeah. I know an amazing amount about a little tiny bit about nothing about the United States. <laughs> I know where Moab is. I've I actually uh, traveled in all 48 states that you can get to driving. You can drive to Alaska. At Alaska. Yeah, but who wants to go to Alaska? I don't know. Ever since Palin ran, nobody. Okay. You want to ruin an entire state for the rest of the country? Be Palin. Jesus. We still got Seattle. What? I'm going to Seattle, yeah. Wait, where are we going? Seattle? No, from Alaska. We still got there. Yeah, I just gotta go sleep so I can get a job. Put one on the external side of the scraper. Oh, fuck! I also need to get fuel and repair my track. It'll be a minute. I actually probably don't need to repair my truck, but I feel like I need to get my tires checked, pumped up. Maybe get a rear end service while I'm in there. You know, have somebody stick a finger in my, in my uh, rear end there and double get check. Make sure she's looped up properly. What? That's how they check the rear end loop. You didn't know that? That's a real thing. It is true. You stick your finger in the rear end. To check you the you pull loop. you pull the you pull the you pull the fill plug out and you stick your finger in and if it's at the bottom of the plug, it's good. If it comes out when you open up the plug, it's over full. If it does, if you can't feel it with your finger in the hole, in the rear end, then you have to add fluid. But serious, if you want me to check the fluid on your on the on your truck in the rear end, I gotta stick my finger in your truck's rear end. Please say please do. That's that's how you do it. Why do you think Very mechanics true. talk so fucking dirty? Because some asshole named it rear end. You should see people surprised when I tell them I'm gonna check the check how I'm gonna check the lube in their front end. <laughs> So it says I'm 10 hours away, so I should be there in like 10 minutes? Something like that. It's like 25 minutes. Half an hour. There we go. This is a resting place, but you're not tired right now. Is that because I already slept? You better yeah. give me for more fucking contracts, you piece of. Uh, nothing to Seattle there. I don't want a quick job. I want. The fuck is nothing going to Seattle? Can I get a job to Yakima and then I'll That's pick something up? Chats took it over. Not, there's no Seattle anymore. It's just Chats. This is dumb. They don't want anything to go to Seattle right now. Well, I've got a heavy hold on the externals. 
Okay, I got furniture going to Yakima, so I'll drop that in Yakima and then grab something to Seattle. Fucking bullshit. In the meantime, uh, I can grab fuel here. Uh, service station's not around here, so I'll, uh, I'll, my, oh, there's a service station in Yakima, so I'll repair in Yakima. Up a load from Yak to Seattle. Yeah. I just hate bobtailing. It feels like it feels like waste. It feels like uh, lost money. You know, like it just feels like pissing away profits. It's like when you smoke your own fucking. It's like when you're smoking your shit that's for sale, right? Quit smoking your stuff. Smoke your profits. Well, don't smoke, but don't smoke your profits. Or if it's legal in your jurisdiction, you do you if you're a consenting adult. Oh, fuck. I live in Texas. I don't think that'll ever be legal for us. Yeah, it will. Even fucking Texas will be progressive one day. Remember, the uh, the hardcore the hardcore old timers all die eventually. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that to be a dick. Like, I, I'm like progress will always happen because at some point the traditionalists are no longer as traditional. Because the less traditionalists that grew up through the tradition, or the cause for the tradition that exists, the more people will question it, which leads to, pro pro to progressionists. Like, it's just a statistical thing. I don't mean it to be a dick. Like, oh, they'll, they'll get fucking old and die one day, and then we'll have her. That's not what I'm trying to say. I was, I was literally just speaking from, like, a societal statistical standpoint. It's, as as older societies die out, the newer societies get their way. Just the way it is. Remember, the youth are the future. They're the future because immortality is not a thing. Get your gas station sausage yet? Oh, I picked up some gas station sausage yet. But I ate all the kubasa last night on stream. Last night on stream? Yeah. If you're a trucking, if you're a trucker, smoking is not what would you do right now? <laughs> Kubasa, that's what I'd be doing. My favorite thing, and this might be an unpopular opinion because we've got a lot of truckers watching because we're doing trucking. We got truckers in the trucker type people in here, but unpopular fucking opinion. My favorite thing about the start of the pandemic was all these people up in arms about the fact that you couldn't get food as a trucker. They're like this is ridiculous. I can't get food because all the McDonald's is are closed and all the Wendy's are closed and they're not allowing walk-ups and this and that. And I was like, I, I, I get, I, I understand that you might not get a hot meal, but we make this thing called a styrofoam cooler. And these things called loaves of bread and cold cuts. And if you're starving to death as a trucker, because the fast food restaurants are closed. There's a bigger problem there. And yeah, but we kept getting, we keep, we were getting tickets for shopping at Walmart as well. What the fuck? Okay, that, that I can understand. But like in Canada, that wasn't a thing. In Canada, people weren't getting tickets for, for shopping, I don't think. But also, 
Like, you can get dried meats and stuff. Like, fuck, I just slammed my ass in. Like, you, there, there, there are ways around it through just pre-trip planning, right? So, yeah. like, there's ways around it. You don't need fast food. I have an $800 ticket I'm fighting. See, and that's bullshit. Like, I get that. I understand that. That's fair. Getting ticketed for pulling into a parking lot to shop at Walmart is bullshit. That's bullshit. You're a, like, they weren't throwing tickets out for that before. They shouldn't have been throwing it out for it now. But. <laughs> but. I don't care. Unpopular opinion. Fast food's not essential. It's not. Fast food service is not essential. As for, for the bathroom argument, I, I, I liked this one, but I didn't like it because everyone was like, oh, well, where are they supposed to go to the bathroom? I'm gonna take a shit on the side of the road. Who gives a fuck? It's the side of a highway, man. Well, that's not very hygienic. Yeah. Neither, neither's a fucking pandemic, so, you know, what you gotta do. Listen, if... If a thousand soldiers can occupy a half a kilometer of trench in World War One and shit and piss in a swamp, I think a trucker can piss in a dry ditch. Just saying. Yeah, just, I'm with you there. Just fucking saying. I'm not trying to be a dick, but there, there were there was some misplaced mean, angst from the general population. I think. Not to mention, but as a mechanic, there's plenty of times where I. Got a truck pulled in and it has 70 piss bottles rolling around in it while I'm trying to work in your interior. And that was before the pandemic. Exactly. I just, I like the argument of like the general population trying to be all like, think about the truckers. Okay, yeah, we're thinking about the truckers and uh, I don't think you guys realize who you're fighting for. You, you, you met truckers? They're, they're neither hygienic nor healthy eaters. I'm not knocking them, I'm just saying, I don't, they, they don't need your fucking sympathy on that shit. Trust me, they're gonna survive. I said unpopular opinion, why'd everybody leave my channel? Come back. And they're gone. It's fine. I take no offense to that. Uh, you know, and you know what? Maybe it's it's fair to say, you're not one. How would you know? That's fair. All right, Andy, I'm pulling up behind you. Oh, why would? I... Hold on. Why is my uh... why is my GPS taking me a different route than you? Are you turning left at that intersection? Yeah. Oh, follow you. My GPS just has me turning left now. That's all. Let's go. But like I was an automotive mechanic for a long time. I am a licensed automotive mechanic. What time am I on till? Discuss what I was doing in five hour stream, but it's it's up to Mashibal. Mashibal, do you want me off at eleven thirty? Hey, I'm saying, do you want me? Am I off at 11.30 or can I go to... Well, actually, I can't do a five hour because that'd be one o'clock. I'm, I'm on to 11.30. 11.30. Hour and 15 minutes. I... I did math. I did math. I also did do five hours already today, so... 11.30 wheeler. If you need to go somewhere and do something, take a quick break. Asshole from behind me. Oh, you fucking asshole. Whatever. Don't threaten me with a good time. I just accepted these stream beats as being like basically game music. They are nice, easy listening beats to just like have in the background of the game. 
Alright, I'm gonna fucking pull out to your left side here before you rubber band your ass into my face. I knew I had to have you, you were trying to think was that other booty dance. Oh, was my, was my trailer doing the dance too? Yep, yeah, just the, the rear end, the, when you have to have you, have you home. Oh, I just put the Kirby and drove up the road while I alt tapped. <laughs> alt tapped, smash button! That, that's pretty important, you had trouble parking. I was like, oh, this is a nice little straightaway, I can turn over and turn my beats on. And then, that's, uh, that's it. Fluffy, did I talk to you about joining COG? Yes, you did. I uh, got the application from Loki today. So okay. I'll send that over. Cool, cool, cool. Where did I find? Did I find you off satisfactory? Yes, sir. I got raided by Rune Sun, and you were Rune there. Rune Sun, Rune Sun, Rune Sun. That's right. That's right. Uh, guess who else is joining COG? You know Rune Sun. You probably know Rune Stone. Yeah, Runestone is, uh, dude, his his streams are so hype, man. I love I his streams. Be, I want to be, like, the crazy guy like he is, because it's awesome. His energy is so good. In but yeah, I, uh, his application came across our desk today. That's sweet. So I'm excited to be a part of a community of people who uh, just enjoy doing this. Well, yeah, it's about enjoying doing this. It's about being open and honest and uh, supporting mental health awareness and also supporting growth. Whether it's the small guys all feeding the big guys, because like we have two partners on the team now. We're working on our, our, our third and fourth right now. Third, fourth, and fifth. We have three people that are all like in the running. Our partner right now. My other buddy is about to partner. Um, and then the, whether it's the small people helping bring their communities to them to help them get that partner level or whether it's the partners bringing their communities to the small guys to get them affiliate and just get them exposure it's, it's all about growth it's all about that open like you're a streamer tell me you're a streamer I don't care like everybody has their own limits right like runestone's pretty good you come on runestone's channel you're there for 10 seconds you say I stream he'll be like cool shout yourself out I'm a little different with that. I would prefer that you drop a follow, engage in the chat for like a day or two, a stream or two, before being like, I stream. But you know, I also want to support the little guys. I just want to see a little bit of, you know, give, give me a little bit before I give you something. That's all. Just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I think um, that we should support one another however we can. And if it's like just hopping in and giving you an extra view or or uh you know taking a little bit of time out of my stream to just spend some time with other streamers i think it's important to feed the community by being a part of the community you know it's, if you want people to to come over and visit you you need to spend some time with them 100 percent, 100 percent. you have to you you have to you get out of any like anything in life you get out of it what you put into it um, For me, it's more of a hobby than it is a business. I just enjoy. But even as a hobby, you get out of a hobby what you put into a hobby, right? Like let's let's say your hobby is rock climbing, right? And all you put into rock climbing is you go, you go to the local rock climbing gym, and you rent the equipment, and you climb up the wall, uh, self belayed, climb down. That's all you do. You do that once a week. How, how much do you get out of that? You climb the same fucking wall by yourself, listening to tunes every fucking day you know what some people might be okay with that the other guy he rents two three weeks four weeks two three months then he buys his equipment then he starts going to the other other different clubs then he starts joining a group of people that do it he starts belaying for people he starts he goes to a new guy hey man Ty, you're not like this what's he gonna get out of that you know what he's gonna get out of that he's gonna get friends he's gonna get a community he's gonna get support he's gonna get somebody saying hey man i noticed you have this piece of gear have you tried this piece of gear Right? What you put into your hobby, what you put into your job, what you put into your family, what you put into life is what you get out of it. 
you don't put anything into it, you're not going to get anything out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So even if, whether this is a hobby to you, this is a small job, this is a second job, this is side cash, this is beer money, this is your full-time job. What you put in is what you're going to get out. If you want to put the minimal amount of effort in, expect the minimal amount of return on investment. Absolutely. Yeah, my goal is to grow it slowly and steadily and not try to boost myself too fast to the point that I'm like overwhelmed by doing this plus my job plus college, you know. Um, I've, I've definitely seen what happens when somebody gets um, false numbers. I don't mean false numbers like bots, but like when somebody gets boosted beyond where they should be at that point in time. Not say, I, I would never say that a streamer doesn't deserve the viewers they have. But what I mean is like when somebody joins Twitch and tomorrow they have 150 average viewers. They have no fucking clue how to handle that. Not a clue, right? Because yeah, yeah. they missed all the stages leading up to it to be like, what do I do when there's a troll? What do I do when somebody drops a large donation? How do I deal with raids? How do I deal with hosts? What do I do when somebody raids me? Like, you don't learn all of that through the little ones that happened at the start. And I've, I've seen the negative effects both on the individual and as, as who they are as a streamer and what they end up portraying on stream, but also what they bring to the community when all of a sudden you get this like zero to a thousand growth and then you slam into that wall of a thousand. They're like, well, what the fuck? Where's my 2000? You didn't work for the first 800. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to say? I have I have 650. What do you want me to say? If every single person of mine follows you already, how the fuck am I supposed to feed you followers? I can't, I can't yeah. grow you if I don't have a community to send to you. Yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of real estate. I was in real estate for four years. And I came in thinking, oh man, I'm just going to sell a ton of houses. But what I realized is that you have to work your butt off the first couple of years to build a business. Then that those people just start calling you and say, hey, come list my neighbor's house, come list my cousin's house, come do this, cause do that. So by the end of the four years, you're not working nearly as hard as you were the first first two years, you know? Yeah. I got a couple of buddies uh, from the military that uh, started up a realtor group. And you know what? It did okay for a couple of years. I'll tell you, they're not doing it anymore. It's you not know? easy. It's tough. They, they both, they really both got full-time jobs fucked off out of it. I'm not going to name names or locations or, or who they are or where they are, but, you know, they, they fucked off out of it. I've given enough information on what I did say. If somebody was really keen, they could probably figure it out, but I don't know if she will knows exactly what I'm talking about, but I mean, she already knew, but, like, I gave enough information for anybody in the area to figure it out, but... Uh, well, I got into it okay. and uh, realized that it's more about a politics and a who-you-know game, and I'm just not into that, so I did the same thing. I was like, ah, I'm out of this, and uh, oh, got God. my started a full-time job and moved on. Even auto mechanics is the same way. It's who you know, where you know, where you work, who you work for, the kinds of customers you get, the kinds of cars you're dealing with. The, the fucking service advisor has their favorite tech. The the tech might be a tech might be sleeping with the parts girl. And you, the, he gets more parts than you. It's fucked, man. The automotive industry is dumb. Yeah. So you know, you know why I got into the security industry. That's what I do full time. Is I do security, security work or security type work, anyways. I should say. Steve, I try not to talk to you too much about what I do because my company has an extensive. Well, my company has an extensive uh, NDA policy and social media policy. I'm allowed to talk about stuff that happens at work, but I have to, like, drip out everything from it to the point where it's like, I did something with a guy at a building. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just fine. Um, Finger blasting. One second, I gotta find the... Oh, fuck, I turned the wrong way. I... You know what? I'll I'll repair and uh, I, I just got to go up the road here, Andy, to get my load to Seattle. And then I'll put my fingers in his buttholes. Remind me to uh, repair the truck in uh, 
Seattle. Um, no, what was gonna say is, um, one of the reasons I got into security is the nice thing about being in security is the customers not always and seldom right. Right. <laughs> which, which play, which plays into my uh, my frustration with people in general usually uh, in my day to day life a lot better than anything else when you're in a service type industry. Now that being said, I would love to get back into being a mechanic or CP rail, CN rail, Calgary police, city of Calgary, uh, Calgary transit, like, like doing like big or, or even like a big corporate, like a school bus company, like doing big corporate contract mechanic. Oh, fuck yeah. All day long. You know why? Because that shit's all scheduled maintenance and critical repair. And none of it's on a high, high, high priority timeline. So when a unit breaks down, they're like, hey, this unit broke down. Okay, well, how long do we have it for? Get it fixed. Okay, when does it need to be done by? Get it fixed. That's the answer. That's always the answer. Get it fixed. We have a spare vehicle. It's out on the road now. Right? It goes in the queue. Tower, the tower dispatches the job and you just, you fill out your time sheet. You say it needs this, 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 and this. They bring you the, the parts. You go have your fucking coffee and then you go out there and you sit there and you plug away at that job and you take, if the job says it takes 18 hours, you can take 18 hours on that job and you'll still make your 40 hours a week of union pay. Whereas in the flat rate shop, that job, oh, that job bills 18 hours. You better do it in nine. Okay, okay, motherfucker. Your thing. Let me, let me just strap on my Sonic the Hedgehog boots. Oh, never mind the fact that the parts guy's a fucking dill hole. He fucked up and got me the wrong parts, so now I've got the job apart and I can't move it. I only get issued one hoist to my name. Can we can we shift into reverse here? Thank you. Um, so now that tr that vehicle is stuck on the hoist for the next three days while you wait for parts and you can't do any more work. So you just lost three days of pay because some dill hole ordered the wrong fucking part. Right? Yeah, that's rough. Right? In a union shop, they order the wrong part. That's fine. I'll, I'll have coffee for three days. I don't give a fuck. Hell, I won't show the fuck up. I'll call in sick for two. I would go back and I would do mechanics for that. In the meantime... Sir, you can't be in here anymore. I don't want to leave. Guess what, motherfucker? It is six o'clock and I go home in two minutes. And you're gonna leave. No, I'm not. You can't make me. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> you touch me, that's assault. That's also where you're wrong. Right. <laughs> that is also where you are very, very wrong. I got uh, two, 250 hours to get to you. Yeah. Hey, the original rabbit gun. What's up, what's up? So yeah, I, I, uh, I got out of pleasing customers. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck am I off kilter on there? At least I didn't do trailer damage. Dude, that could have been nasty. Yo, man, you get to the cupola yet? What? I don't understand. I don't understand you. If you cannot start moving, maybe differential, differential lock can help you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, original rabbit gun. How about uh, how about coming in here? I'm coming in here and saying, being nice, not being a troll, and hanging out a little bit and getting to kind of know. Oh, you banned them off right off the bat on that? Oh, come on. Come on, sloshy man. Let me have fun with the guy first. You want to unban him, then you can just talk shit again? Yeah, unban him. Oh. Let him come back. 
Because I, I, I want to have my fucking fun with him first. I want to make him feel like an asshole. I already knows he's an asshole. I know he knows he's an asshole, but I haven't shown him that he's an asshole, and I haven't made him feel like an asshole to six other people. Six other people can see he's an asshole, but I want them to watch me make him feel like an asshole. Trolls are fun. Really I started a stream, but I'm listening to what you're doing. Trolls <laughs> are fun for me, okay? Take away my fun until I tell you to ban them. Can I? I'm, I'm sorry, Original Rabbit Gun. We, we dropped the gun a little bit on the band there. Are you ready to, to start over here and uh, try and fit in, kind of get the feel out the, the chat here and see what you can say? You know, we're, we're a pretty open-minded chat here. We we, uh, we like to get a little lit and a little playful here, but you know, maybe get to know us a little bit first, you know? Take me out for dinner before you stick a finger in my bum, man. Come on. At least Wheeler over here spent six hours with Sloshy before trying to stick his Koopa in his mouth. <laughs> what chat to view your indie? Well, I got six viewers on my screen and I don't really give a fuck. The fact of the matter is, is I got viewers. I got, oh, can you get Wheeler in here? That's deep. Fucking hell, I can't get past this wall. All right, so where are you guys at in Seattle? Because I'm at the interchange near the desk. I love you. You, I love you. You're so sexy. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, horn, but. Uh, Tooty toot, motherfucker. Tooty toot, scoots. Why is your mod a sensitive bitch? That's a surefire way to get yourself banned. My mod's just trying to help me out, man. Don't don't attack my mods. That's a surefire way to get me to not want you around. Aww, he is a welder, though. He, he is a welder, though. So, I mean, you know. Bring a tear to my eye. Welders, might be, welders are the most sensitive trade behind plumbers. And take a dick, but no joke. <laughs> Rabbit, you're 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 pushing it again. You don't even know these people. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you one more chance here, man. You, you, you can't come in here joking hard. You just look like an asshole. And trust us, we know what assholes look like. Most of us are assholes. Yeah, okay, he can go. Fuck him off. Ah, Felicia! There we go. <laughs> and you know what? He he could have been a he could have been a, a stalwart supporter. He was lame, probably 13 years old. I don't know. I'm going with like 12. Those were some shit jokes. No, I'm going oh. with that guy that's like on that South Park episode in the World of Warcraft episode and just sits behind his desk pushing his legs oh, back that. up his nose and he's just like, you can't take a joke? 37-year-old <laughs> basement dweller, yeah. Beb, I will take a fourth, please. Oh, yes, okay. please. Irby, where are you going to here in Seattle? Oh, shit. Uh, Andy, I've got my load and I'm on the highway. I don't know where I'm going. Beb, my arm is getting tight. Oh, I'll just put it down. Well, why have you the call? I gotta say though, Nasty, you were pretty quick on that band trigger. Only I'm allowed to put my nuts in your mouth. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to put my nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. You you and Rune might have to do some talking. Rune might disagree. Also Bert might disagree. Wait, why do so many guys have rights to nuts and mouth? From a nuts and rabbit's mouth. 
You're gonna love my nuts. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna love my nuts. Slap chop. You're gonna love my nuts. It's getting hot in here, guys. Slap chop. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. It's getting so hot. I wanna take my clothes off. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm just waiting for him to come back on another I'm gonna go account. Over all the question marks I can while I'm here in Seattle. And uh, when you get here, I'll just meet you wherever you are. Nasty, are you gonna drag Wheeler in here or not? Uh, Wheeler, why aren't you on here yet? I know you're watching. He's drag him in the chat. Hello, Senor. Hola, nasty ass honey badger. Oh yeah, it's time for Blueberry After Dark, yeah? Who wants another mustache ride? Oh, I do, I do. You know, he's a Dutch prince, that guy. Is he? Like, actually? He's, he's Dutch royalty, the guy that wanted a mustache ride. Is he really? Nice. Yeah. Okay, but seriously, could somebody grab... Can, can a mod go in the Discord and pull Wheeler in here? He's been waiting forever. Oh, you want me to actually go in there and do it? Cause that bad fuck. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, drag him in. In the Discord. He's been sitting there patiently waiting. I haven't given him his mod rights yet. The streamer won. We got it. 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 Nasty got it. The doctor will see you now. Hello. <laughs> yes, the doctor will see you now. Bend over, cough. Oh, and the doctor will see you now. Hold on, we hook up the probes to your skull and then stick a finger in your butt hole, well, yeah? Oh well, yeah, it's time for Blue Bubby after dark. Or Blue Bubby after three and a half beers. Either way, it's going to get rowdy in here, yeah? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get him from here? That, that's the best way to do it right there. Oh. Where are you guys? Uh, Seattle. Hey, I've been asking Burby where he's at this whole time. Uh, just... Somewhere between uh, Oklahoma and Seattle. It's a very long range. <laughs> I'm somewhere between your mom's house and Seattle, okay? We're on the 90. He's like, my mom's house is in Seattle. Well, fuck, I guess I'm in Seattle. <laughs> Where are we? I'm on a bridge. Actually, this is, a, this is a beautiful, beautiful little view here. This feels I very, uh, this feels very like, Driving through the mountains here. Look at this. Howdy, hey, Badger. Where are you? Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, oh, Seattle Jesus. somewhere. I dragged a bunch of shit together to try to get this set up. Don't fuck around with you guys for an hour. Hey, they did a good job of capturing uh, Utah and Idaho driving. It's really like mountainous, wavy roads. Pretty. I really think my finger's broken, man. Get an x-ray and confirm it. Mm, finger your butthole too hard? No, VR. Smash the couch? <laughs> yeah, I fucking smash the couch. I felt my finger leave the controller and go all the way back to my hand. I'm pretty sure I dislocated every knuckle and relocated every knuckle in a half a second. Oh, you're fine then. Oh, it, fuck, it, it was real bad for the first, like, two days. But that's going on, what, night? like, two weeks now? And I still can't crack that knuckle without it being, like, super, like, I can't crack it at all. It's super tender. Although that is also the knuckle that's usually kind of sore. So like, I probably exacerbated. Yeah, you never go three knuckles. <laughs> three. <laughs> All right, I'm headed. To Can we go ten minutes on one of my ATS streams without talking about something sexual? No. <laughs> it's 
said it's about like mechanics, welders, and all the other drivers. It's, it's mechanics. <laughs> I, I got that just from that. Oh, why'd you stop it? I was getting into that. <laughs> I was <laughs> doing the whole it. thing. That's all I can get. I started licking my hands. I was going to slick back the hair, do some fake fox ears. Oh, fuck, that's a left. If you go any farther, you're you're copyrighted, bro. If I go any farther. Uh, yeah, actually, that's probably yeah, copyrighted. Yeah, I got it off that point. Well, actually, how old is... Is that still uh, DMCA-able? Is that, is that public domain by this point? Always better just not to post it. Yeah, yeah, it's always better just not to, generally, but like... I mean, that's why I just have the Harris Heller going. What the fuck is that? The Harris Heller? The that's the, the quasi-EDM shit that's going on my stream now. He's actually, this year, he's adding a new album every, like, month. Oh, yeah, I noticed. I'm in Seattle. Yeah, I'm also in Seattle. I see a green dot going down the highway. I'm an hour and 40 minutes out. When you use your brakes to stall the engine out, turn the engine off. Drop that load. I had an airline blow on a trailer once. That was a lot of fun. That's one way to fucking drop your load. Okay, I'm going to go to a, a fucking mechanic while I'm here. Because it's... I need it. Oh, there's also a Kenworth dealership here. And just meet at Kenworth. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to Kenworth because I'm in a Kenworth. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this truck to the dealership for its fucking fucking servicing here. What the fuck is behind me then? Oh, the fucking trailer I dropped is right behind me. Ghetto fabulous. Weird to do the. The like voice clips with the push to talk because I have to hold push to talk while I do it. Hey, what? Because of push to talk, I have to hold the push to talk button and do the button on my stream deck. Oh, to be able to play the noise. I would add voice meter, but at this point, if I add any more drivers to my stream, my fucking computer's gonna explode. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm fucking amazed that Snowrunner cacked out last night because it all of a sudden decided that it didn't want to fucking handle the steering wheel anymore. Oh, I was watching. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I just... Snowrunner might get replaced by Valheim temporarily until I figure out what's going on there. Come join the server. Well, I might have to. Now that I, that's what I was doing all day, I was trying to cheat shit into that server because we worked for like two weeks on it and then my dumbass erased the entire thing. But you just start over. That's oh, also that's why games like that are like frustrating as fuck because somebody fucks up the server and then it's just not fun. Our server's modded though and now the mods actually work and everything, but doing that, the G portal was just like, hey, guess what? You wanted a new seed? That's cool. Fuck your old world. <laughs> what, uh, what do the mods do? Uh, they're really just, like, quality of life mods. Like, your guy can handle more weight, your inventory's a little bigger. Uh, the kilns and furnaces and stuff handle, like, their timing works the same for how much per item, but they hold more items in them. Mm. Yeah, hold more items in them and stuff. So you don't have to feed them as often? Yeah, like even the honey. Like honey, you get four per in-game day right now, and our mod 
allows it so that you'll get five per day, but the honey, the beehive will run for four days straight. So you can get 20 in total and just let it run for like four in-game days. Okay. So we just, we did a bunch of quality to life one. And then uh, for building, we made it so like you don't need a workbench. Your workbench is the in-game. It's like 50 meters or something. You have to be close to a workbench. And with our mod, it's like 500 meters. So you can be away from a workbench to build. Oh, so you don't have to build like a dozen workbenches. Yeah. And there's no uh, structural integrity because we wanted to build like bigger buildings and not have to worry about having a pole every like two meters. Uh, structural integrity I'm okay with. No, I, I'm okay with it too, but when you get up to like a five story building and stuff, you have to put a pole every like two meters just to be able to support that height. Yeah, that's when you get into wood and stuff or stone and stuff though, because some of those have bigger bigger build areas, right? With the stone and the iron and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have to up, actually upgrade the building. Oh, I, I, I get it, but the the server that we're doing right now is basically we're just trying to make a bunch of really cool builds and then make like different teams and eventually mm -hmm. other and stuff. All right, let's see if I can configure Studio Sleeper still. There we go. I can go to the six by six by four three hundred gallon now. So just out of curiosity, which Kenworth dealership you got? Uh, wait, are there two in Seattle? Yeah, there's two. Yeah, there's. Uh, uh, nasty. The other one, the one by Steel. East or west? Yep, I got it. I got it. the fuck? Hey, I can get a six-speed transmission. Just do it. It's the Allison 4500. So right now I'm on an Eaton Fuller 22E31 or an E318B VXPR, 18 speed, 14.4 to 073 with a 325 diff. I can go to an Allison 4500 six speed 470 to 067. I'm convinced that in this game, this stuff doesn't mean half of anything because low eight is my best gear to run in in my 18 speed. So that makes no sense. But I feel like an Allison 4500 six speed would not be effective. Nope. <laughs> I lose uneven terrain, hill traversal, heavy cargo, and I gain a little bit of normal cargo. I lose maneuverability. Allison TC10 loses everything. How I'm long so until you guys are up here? What? How long until oh, you are here? I was thinking about building a truck, but I don't think I have time. I definitely have the best tranny right now. Oh, the sunset paint job is actually super cool. The, the Kenworth sunset. Hey, babe. Yeah. Which paint job? This one? Ready? Or this one? Okay. Can I do it all in blue, though? Seven. Hold on. The dark blue. Oh, seven. Hold on. Medium blue. There. How's that? Then it's still blue, but it's got the sunset to it. So that or that. I'm, I'm sticking with the flames for now. Confirming the order. Okay, I upgraded my engine. What do I, what did I put in it? I got the the Cat C15 625 King of the Hill. 625 horse, 2,000 foot pounds of torque, 1,200 RPM.
Although, actually, the Cummins ISX was fine. All right. Oh, I'm topped out now. The only thing higher is I've got a level 20... Uh... There's a level 20... Um... Transmission option that I have to unlock still. Alright, let's check it out. Is everybody here now? I appear so. Yeah, I just rolled up with my little baby vehicle. Uh, you guys want to go go for a coastal drive? It's not really I'm coastal drive. I'm gonna have to be somewhere close, or he's not gonna be able to go anywhere. Uh, I got fuel. I need fuel. I can go to Oakland. I got uh, three Kenworths going to Oakland. I could take my Kenworth hauling through. Well, I mean, I could go. I could take Kenworths to Oakland. I got four different Kenworth loads to Oakland, all worth the same amount. We could go to Elko. I know uh, Nasty likes Elko. Can we get to Astoria? I'd like to get to Astoria and then see if we can go to Newport, Coos Bay, Eureka, Yukia, San Rafael, San Francisco, and Santa Cruz. That takes us all the way along the, cro the coast. Then we can hit Maria, Oxnard, LA, Carlsbad, and San Diego. Take the seaboard. Let me see if I got anything to Aberdeen or uh, Astoria. I don't think I have anything to either of those. I have uh, one that I can take to Newport. To where? I Newport? need to get my guy to sleep. To Newport, yeah. From That's Seattle. I mean, I don't to Newport. It's a shitload for price, but... I can sleep here. What am I doing? Yeah, that one is really bad. Like the one I have, the Newport's really bad. Yeah, my Newport one is shit. I mean, I, I don't got... know. I got it. I got a good one to Newport from what it's from Yakima. I mean, I can go straight to Oakland, San Francisco area. Well, if you're going there, hold on. Let's do this. I got to Yakima first and then to Newport to pick this one up. Toma, Olympia. Are we got Newport? Come on, we got any jobs to Newport? Nope. Like I'll I'll go from Olympia to Newport. Fuck. I got one to Eugene from Seattle. That's a pretty solid one. Fuck all. I got one in Olympia going to Newport. You got one from... Okay, I'm gonna go sleep. Where's the the sleep spot? Sleep it. Literally where we are. Okay, let me, let me head out onto the... I got one in Tacoma going to Newport. Where exactly is it where we are? Oh, is it like... 
I'm parked. I'm not tired. Fuck. You said you have a job in Newport and Olympia, right? And just pick up that one. Me? No, I don't. No. I imagine the only job I have going to Newport is a really, really small one. Well, hold on. I can't select Olympia. Why can't I select Olympia? Because you probably haven't been there yet. What you mean? I can select Tacoma, but I can't click on Olympia. Well, if you don't fight, if I haven't been to that town. I'm running down here and fuel up, and then I gotta come back here to get the job. That it'll take me to Eugene, but Newport's on the way. Well, you know what? I bet you I have a job to Olympia. Oh, here we go. There we go. I found one. I got a job to Newport. That one. Okay. All right, I'll go pick up this job. We're going to Newport. To Tacoma. Nice having a fully upgraded truck and almost 400 grand in the bank. So what do we want to do? Pick up and uh, back here? Or where do you want? To, what do you want to meet? We're uh, we're all heading to Newport. So grab your loads to Newport. We'll meet back in Newport. We'll try to meet on the highway before we get to Newport, but like, kind of depends how long Wheeler. everybody takes. I think you might have just got kicked. Who? Wheeler? Yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it? Yeah, I, I got a new job, so I'm driving with a new company soon, so I literally just built the e truck that I'm going to be driving the week. Like, wait, to like in the game? No, like IRL. This is the truck I'm going to be driving a week from now. Well, find a job in Newport. <laughs> Can you get that IRL job in Newport and then uh, put the fuck up and hurry up and get in the game? <laughs> Nobody cares about what's going on in your life, Wheeler. But no, seriously, congratulations, I, I guess. I'll need more details to understand exactly what just happened. Sounds like he built a truck and got a new job. I got a new job for a new trucking company in real life, and I just built the truck that I'm going to be driving a week from now in real life in bed. Nice. Oh, okay, there we go. Congratulations on the new job, and nice. You have time to practice your truck, I guess? I think I'm taking recycled paper. God, I feel like such an environmentalist shill. I just stalled my truck. You? Aren't I an environmentalist shill? Eh, uh, sort of. Oh, holy shit. The lines are being repainted right here. Pick that out. It's all the like little dots before they come through with the painting truck. Yeah. We have those here. They're just too lazy to paint the lines on the road. Oh, so they just drive a bike? Just those little stupid markers they put in the ground. Still oh, the little cat's eyes? Seems more expensive than just painting lines. Cat's eyes, you mean? Cat sides are supposed to go along with the lines. They just don't understand that salt and paint, line paint, doesn't work together. Hey, I'd rather not. Thank you. We go in the fucking reverse. That'd be great. Okay. Where am I finding a job to? 
Newport. We need to go to Tacoma or Olympia to get one. What fucking state is that in? This state. It's north. South. West. This is my trailer, right? might not be my trailer. Nope, I'm driving through this trailer. It's not my trailer. Hold on, where the fuck is my trailer? Oh, did I not? I probably didn't accept the job. I think that was freight market. I just drove right in. Yep. I think I'm gonna run out of gas before I get this anywhere. I love that trucks have like four reverse gears. It does seem you accessible. You can scare the hell out of people with them. That's great. Oh, with how fast they can go in reverse? Oh yeah, I did a crane job downtown Toronto and when we had to switch trailers and get in between like cutting off traffic lanes and stuff, I would throw it in reverse high and just scare the shit out of people. <laughs> You'd always see the people's face like, oh, I've got to wait for him to back up. And then like, oh shit, he's coming towards me real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, it's got a high gear. Funny thing is, I was like a week into me working for the guy, and the guy was like, I didn't know they had a high gear in them. I'm like, yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Mukatari, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the parking lot. I hope you enjoy the stream. We do uh, we do ATS Convoy Saturday nights. Once a month, we do Satisfactory Collabs with uh, a couple of other uh, content creators in Satisfactory. Monday, Tuesday is Satisfactory. Wednesday's VR stream, and Friday is... Sundays are supposed to be SnowRunner, but we'll see how that goes because SnowRunner is being janky as fuck with my steering wheel. We're gonna try it again one more time tomorrow, and if that doesn't work, then we're gonna be switching to Valheim for Fridays and Saturdays or Sundays until we figure it out. Which is not the end of the world. I hate that you can't turn right at the red light in this game without going fine, but that seems so fine to me. You have to turn fine off. Why would I do that? That's not real. You can't turn right at the On the highway already, by the way. I'm right behind you. Okay. The question is, did you have your right blinker on? I just stop it to come up for fuel. Yeah, did you have your blinker on? No, why would you turn your blinker on? That's ridiculous. Well, oh, you got the ticket, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> if, the, if the game don't set the blinker, it'll find you because you don't know which is turn right. Oh, well, I didn't know that. That's something magical I learned today. Game's got fucking magic. No, yeah, and the dog's a goddamn magician. He's showing big again. I don't even think I have the blinkers, like, uh... Uh, maps anywhere. I have them mapped to my battles. Thing is how the G29 doesn't give you a multifunction switch like a fucking proper steering wheel should. <laughs> oh, you know what? It actually be it would actually be super easy to uh, create a multifunction. I could get a GM multifunction and then hook it up to a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. Well, a Raspberry Pi uh, board with the USB and then plug it in as, as a uh, joystick, right? No, I heard Raspberry Pi. Not that my computer needs any more joystick inputs, but you could actually put like a multifunction switch 
steering column in. Honey Badger, would you add me as a fucking friend on stream? Steam so that I can see a green side of the blue one? Like, no. I don't add my lovers, I only add my friends. He doesn't I would want do there to be a paper trail. <laughs> I would do that. Leave that nasty ass, but I can't do it. That's. That was creepier than it usually is. Hey, nasty. And of course, I got the freaking. Okay. for me. Oh. Fucking snowing in my game. I do, it's just me too. weird because it's 70 degrees here. Uh, I don't actually see. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 30 degrees Celsius, but it's got snow on the screen. That's fucked up. I think the game thinks it's Alberta. Do you guys still have snow? Because our snow is completely gone. Uh, I still got snow on my, on my lawn, yeah. Where the sun doesn't quite get as much during the day. It was fucking 22 here today. Uh, I think it was like 11 here today. I was out in a t-shirt today. Quite happy about it. I got my cruise control set for 130. Gonna slam my brakes. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Oh no, the power's out. Wait, no, it's just an ARC 214 joining the chat. Check him out over at link in the chat. How's it going, buddy? Welcome back to the parking lot. Happy to have you here. And he's gone. <laughs> I'm talking about you. You're like not on our screen anymore. Oh, I'm doing like a buck 30, bro. Yeah, we're also doing a buck 30. I wish you would ask me, but we can. Could be going a bit better. That shout out is the most oh, accurate thing I for tonight. Like the, like OBS like the just crapped the bed. Ooh, that's never good. I've dropped like almost 5,000 frames tonight. There's that. streaming when it shit the bed so no stream yeah I hate that man I get all like when my streams get cancelled for technical difficulties <laughs> cheers remember guys don't drink and drive I am drinking I am driving but this is a video game not real life you just had two wheels go up that's okay what was I gonna say um yeah I get I get downright fucking depressed when my streams end to the technical difficulties. Like, I get upset. It fucking jilts me. I, I hate that. The amount of, like, mental fortitude and, like, effort on my part to transition from SnowRunner to Valheim and get back into the energy last night. Like, I was exhausted from that. Where'd you go, Wheeler? <laughs> like, dropped off the map. Uh, I'm being told in my stream that, like, Blue's voice and everything is three times louder than mine is, so I just have to adjust some stuff. Uh, That's because I'm the better streamer. Wow, yeah. just because it's true doesn't mean it has to be said. <laughs> 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 
Ouch. Alrighty then. I'm just kidding. Everybody is their You're own. There's there's no such thing as a better stream. Like, well, how do you measure them? Like, how do you measure a better streamer, right? Like, like you could you could go like. You could go financially and like by viewer accounts and be like, oh, Shroud is a better streamer than Bluebird Bean. Okay, yeah, he gets more viewers, he makes <laughs> uh, more money. One time he fucking raided him and he didn't even fucking say anything. He didn't say anything, he didn't have a fucking notification. <laughs> Turn your fucking raids off, you cheap fuck. Piece of shit, anyways. Fuck you, Shroud. I'm not gonna say his name on stream anymore. He who, sh he who shall not be named! I'd rather advertise Dr. Disrespect for fuck's sake, just because, like, fuck you, Twitch, for canceling that partnership, anyways. Watch my mouth before Bezos comes and kicks me in the balls. <laughs> get a Twitch I'd just like to have more than one viewer on average, that'd be awesome. Ah, uh, we can get you there. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bastard, I don't learn fucking anybody. I should I, learn. I leave my computer constantly lurking three people. I just, like, I don't... Mishiba will come onto my computer and turn it on to lurk a couple of people. But, like, I just don't... As a board member of a, of a massive team, and as, like, all the people I'm trying to get on the team and network with and everything, I have so many people to, like, lurk. It's, it's dumb. It's almost overwhelming to the point that, like, there's a reason I let Mishibo handle my social media and everything else. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I'm, like, low-key, when she goes back to work, I'm debating whether my social media is full of stamp to me. I think between the two of us, we can do it. We can do it. Oh shit, I almost just ran off this bridge. Well, I... Where'd you go? Is Every that person that streams is their own Left person, behind. right? Also, it's it's a little like I'm hosting, so I'm the one that's not person to push to talk. So like, both Fluffy and Wheeler's streams are suffering from the. the there's that one guy in comms that can talk constantly. Yeah, but it's your voice, so I'm I'm not suffering at all. <laughs> yeah, it's totally okay over here. It just shows how much better mine is, and my stream loves it. <laughs> Fuck me. He's not suffering. <laughs> the way I've always seen it as a streamer is, the person hosting the session is the main stream, and everybody else streaming off of that is the, the ancillary stream. Right? And that's fine. If, if Wheeler is hosting a Valheim stream, and I join into Wheeler's Valheim stream to show up and do some stuff in Valheim. If Wheeler wants me on push to talk, I'll go on push to talk. Like the the host sets the rules and the tone, right? Absolutely. No, I agree with you there. Um, you know, where it, are you guys headed again? Completely lost. Or that I can't talk over you through my. Yeah. Um. The other nice thing for you guys is, is you're on push to talk, so you go. Oh, fuck! Why is this dude just stopped in the middle of the road? So I didn't even know this was a thing, but there's a bridge that you cross uh, right here somewhere. I don't know where I'm at exactly, and the bridge goes up to allow ships to come through. And so I'm just not paying attention. I'm on cruise control, and I was looking at other things, and all of a sudden I just hammer the stop. And it took like 60% out of my truck health to, <laughs> to run into it. So pro tip, if you're coming up to a bridge, make sure there's nothing stopping you. I just reported a guy because he was stopped dead across both lanes around at the, at the exit of a bend. It's probably the guy that uh, was trolling your stream just a little bit ago. Probably not. Uh, gave us time to catch up to you. Hit him, but I fucking reported him. Um, even to the point that, like, if the host has, like, a family friendly stream and the host is like, hey, no swearing, I won't swear on that stream. Right? Poo poo. Like, you just. You, you look at who's hosting, right? 
And the way I usually determine who's hosting is whoever's Discord you're using, that's the host. Good rule of thumb. Okay, now I gotta follow this asshole. Don't worry, I'm behind you, so this could all go terribly wrong. Great. I got the audacity. Yeah, this would be bad. We'll be fine. We're fine. I'm so damaged that it shuts off every three seconds. I have to, like, tap it to get the engine going again. Oh, this guy, I'm getting around him. Just keep in mind that I am I am rolling in a level one truck, you know, so it's not, like, super awesome. It's okay. You'll catch Wheeler. Okay, Danny. <laughs> Nobody catches me. I'm like the wind. But you stink. Like a fart. Just a fart in the wind. I don't know where you live, but my wind is amazing over here. The wind where I live usually smells of either cow shit or fertilizer plant. That I is a beautiful smell. I live about three blocks away from a place that makes cinnamon buns, so that's a. Uh, Fuck that's you, awesome. buddy. Fuck you. That's a bonus. There's I mean, I'll hop in that line. There's a reason Nasty Ass Honey Badger weighs what? 473 pounds. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be right there with you, man. If I, if I lived next to a Cinveo, Cinnabon, fuck. Huge. Oh, a Hordings? I think it's Western Bakery. I think that's what it is. Man, that's if I lived next right to a place. Wendy's or a Harvey's, I'd be fucking 600 pounds tomorrow. Well, there's all that, like, fucking five minutes from my house. Oh, God, thank God there's Wendy's, none of that in my Wendy's, McDonald's, town. Subway, original shows, all the good shit. Mishima and I were talking about, like, what towns we would move to if we could move. And I was like... Well, does this town have this and this and this? And they're like, yeah, but I can't fuck it. I'm sold. Well, don't you want to know what the housing? I don't give a fuck what the housing prices are. <laughs> they got a Harvey's, a Subway, and a Wendy's. I'm fucking sold. I'm there. They got a Menchie's. That's a bonus. <laughs> I'm on a diet. I'm on a seafood diet. The seafood I eat it. You have to have at They're least broke. three children to make that joke. I have. One. I'm, I'm just saying that <laughs> level of dad joke is strictly off limits. Fuck that. that I, I've been saying that joke since my sister told it to me. Actually, do you remember the, the seafood joke where it's like, you want some seafood? Oh yeah, sure, I'd love some seafood. And then you just open your fucking mouth with unchewed, like barely chewed food in it. Yeah, that's, that's a sibling joke. That's what that is. <laughs> Am I in Newport? I must be in Newport. I'm 16k away. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> oh, I gotta go the other way. Oh. oh, I fucked myself here, bud. I figured you did that most nights, but yeah. Okay. Go ahead and announce it for us. Thanks, dude. Kirby's coming with the with the right hooks on you, man. <laughs> it's okay. I let him have Shots it. Shots fired! Shots fired! I gotta let I him have the one. Time to download all these, I gotta at least use them once or twice. <laughs> Badger's gotta let me have a one up on somebody, for fuck's sake. After all, I do I do support the Leafs, so. Why was your so easy? What? Andy's job. His drop off point was so much easier than mine. I'll just talk you when it tell me to talk you. Go around here. Oh yeah, let's give me a fucking hairpin turn. Fucking 18 wheeler. <laughs> Fuck off.
Not like giving me the fucking B train or anything, you assholes. Fuck that stop sign, we keep this shit rolling. Littering in, littering in, littering in. Smoking the reefer. I gotta listen back to how that changes my voice when I get in real nice and tight. Like, in my brain, pulling the mic up to my mouth does something. But I don't know if it actually does. It makes it more muffled and kind of not super great. You boys like Mexico? You boys like Mexico? Oh, that wasn't it. I, that wasn't it. I'm too many beers in to do that voice. You boys <laughs> like Mexico? <laughs> Anyways, something like that. Get two cheeseburgers and a liter of cola. <laughs> a liter of cola? Just order a Sound large like farva. I don't want a large oh, farva. Okay. I want a goddamn liter of cola. That look like spit to you? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Then he put but let's see if I let's see if I uh, can quit my job tomorrow. Motherfucker! Fucking love farva. What's that goofy restaurant you like with a little goofy shit on the wall? Oh, you mean shenanigans? Oh, I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next person that says shenanigans. You got to do the whole quote on that thing. The movies. Oh, shenanigans. The movies. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next son of a bitch that says shenanigans. Hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with the goofy shit on the walls? Oh, you mean shenanigans? Oh. <laughs> when they're testing the fucking bulletproof jock strap. You're a sick motherfucker, Mac. I turned here. Back in my day, we there. used blanks. <laughs> Can you get a strike from like re quoting an entire movie? <laughs> Maybe, but not from that fucking comedy troupe. They'd be like, advertising, baby. Oh, they would just laugh and be like, yeah, fuck it. It was great. I was like, I, I want to reach out to Viva La Dirt League and see if I can steal some of the, some sound from their uh, stuff. Oh my god, dude, I love them. Yeah, I wanna I wanna actually like fully email Super like uh, Broken Lizard and uh, Viva La Dirt League and see if I can straight up use some of their sounds. Be like, I want this sound, this sound, and this sound on my stream, and I will post you guys in the credits in the about section. I bet you a, a troop like Viva La Dirt League or Super Troopers are big enough but small enough that they'd be like, yeah, we'll take the free advertising. Right, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. They might tell me to fuck off or they might not answer. Who knows? Do you watch their D&D uh, &D group, the NPC D&D? Oh, I I want to and I just I'm I'm so backlogged on like NADPOD and Dimension 20 with uh, the the people from like college humor and stuff that I just I, I haven't gotten to it. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. I just uh, because at work we I work on computers for Acer and um, we get to watch YouTube all day. So I've been watching Critical Role starting from the very beginning, and that's been pretty awesome as well. Oh, well, Critical Role, yeah, I've, I haven't watched any of that. That is like the time sucker of time suckers because each episode's like four hours long and i think their first uh their first campaign was like 132 videos yeah i think like nad pod's first campaign is like 110 episodes or something sturgis gaming love me some burby i love me some sturgis so it's all good brother uh, I am just about to finish up here, though. I changed the talking head. I increased the sound of the music. Sounds of the music. Let that Paris Heller flow through you. Through that is better. What's is, is it? Just Harris Heller for his Twitch? Yes. Uh, 
Um, where was where were we going with this? Yeah, I I I'd like to get some of the sound effects from them. I like I do like I like listening to D and D and stuff. Uh, I just picked up the players got the player's handbook and the dungeon master's guide and a bunch of dice and shit. And I'm picking up a couple of other things. Sir just just finished a four and a half hour Valheim with Sir Word. Nice, nice rated Wookie. Nice. That's, that's good. That's good, man. Wookie's always appreciative of the small raids and the big raids. That's never a bad raid. Um, speaking of raids, we need to set up a raid here real quick. Um, let me figure out who we're gonna raid, and then we'll say our goodbyes, we'll say our thank yous, and all that other stuff. Uh, apologies to Fluffy and um, Fluffy and Wheeler's um, candles listening to me figuring this all out. I already know who I'm gonna uh, raid. It's not ATS, but we're gonna raid them anyways. You leaving already? Yeah, 1130, man. God, that's yeah, through my best. It does, doesn't it? We're gonna I'm like right around the corner, getting ready to land down here. We're gonna raid Runestone Gaming, guys. Uh, he's playing Satisfactory. He's joining Cog. We're gonna get some uh, some collabs in with him. Hashtag Cog Love. Let's let him know what it's all about. Hashtag Cog Love, guys. See you guys later. Thank you so much for the follows. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being the awesome in the community that you are. And thank you for putting up with me drunkenly slurring half my words tonight. We'll see you next time.